morning, Your Honor. First call on the docket is Jamal Killings. Thank you. Killings will be followed by Julian Pettis. Good morning, Judge. Carl Lewis on behalf of Mr. Killings as he comes out with respectfully waive probable cause. Yeah. Killings. Your Honor, uh, Mr. Killings is a lifetime resident, uh, has a lot of family ties here. Uh, Mr. Killings <coughs> met with me yesterday and we voluntarily surrendered to District 5 on Ludlow Avenue. Um, I'm here to the score here is six. He has two small children, gainfully employed, and uh, understands the serious nature of the charges. And the family understands the serious nature of the charges, and we always respect what the court does, Jay. So it's actually uh, reasonable bond. Your Honor, the state is asking for a very high bond in this matter uh, based upon a number of factors. First of all, the defendant is a two time convicted felon. He has uh, convictions for trafficking in heroin and trafficking in a controlled substance. Uh, that occurred in March of 2013 when on three occasions the defendant sold heroin to a confidential informant. Uh, the second time it was a fake substance that he purported to be heroin. And the third time when he was arrested, uh, the buy money was found in his pockets from that arrest. Uh, two of those sales were within a thousand feet of a school. The defendant pleaded guilty to two of those three counts in a plea negotiation. And after being placed on probation, the defendant violated his probation twice. On that second probation violation, the defendant was sent to prison. Uh, of note, twice during his period of probation, he failed to show up and capuses were issued for his arrest. On the uh, murder, it's going to be a $2 million secured bond, $100,000 on the felonious assault. Grand jury report date? The 14th, please. Thank you, Judge. All right. 